Okay. They speak for a, what do you call that thing, the other name for it? Thought it was just a pacemaker. Hmm. It works like a pacemaker. It's an answer to you. It starts your heart going if it wants to stop or if it goes too fast. Yeah, I, I thought that was like, yeah, it's kind of like a pacemaker, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hmm. Interesting. I forget names and words and stuff. There's another name for that. <laughs> sounds like, sounds like you've led a good, a good life. Oh, I shouldn't complain, but I do. <laughs> a lot of people don't get the chance to live ninety-five years. You right. know, you're a, you're a lucky guy, but yeah. I think it's just human nature to complain a little bit. Yeah. So, do you cut your own grass and keep up your yard? Yeah. You still do. Boy, it's very beautiful. Your barn is gorgeous. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, the barn I'd like to... There was a woman here a couple of years ago. Yeah, she's taking pictures of barns and stuff. She's going to get that picture on a magazine. But it never, they never made it. Hmm. I guess they found something else better. Sure. Do you know who the woman was? Do you remember who the woman was? No. Was it Marilyn, maybe, was her first name? I don't name? remember that. Huh. Very beautiful. So that barn was built in 1928? 29. 29. Yep. I see your tag that you have on it right there. Oh, I was going to show you. Is that yours? No, but it's pretty much like it. Wow. It's a little smaller. As you see, it's only... Huh. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, it looks a lot like it, give or take the mountains in the background. I, I don't see too many mountains behind your barn. <laughs> I don't know, I can't remember what it is, but anyway. Nice, very, very nice. Interesting. So what tell me about a typical day at your house now that you're ninety two, ninety one. What do you do during the day? No. Yep. Oh uh, where to start? I bought a back hole. I was going to clean out ditches and stuff like that. Then it got too wet the spring I couldn't. I didn't get much use out of it. Maybe yeah. this fall. Huh? Maybe this fall. Yeah. And uh, I, uh, right now I've been pretty busy trying to fix up the shed doors over there. You see that blue shed? As you can see under the door. Okay. On the, on the blue shed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The kid crawled under there one time. It was my neighbor kids back here. And that was kind of funny. I was at home. They wanted to borrow a wrench. So they took whatever wrench they wanted. One day at home here, and here they came. He says, well, they want to borrow a wrench. And when they told me that they'd been here once and crawled under the door. <laughs> so this all leads up to somebody stole a, a hand crank grass cedar. I don't know if you know where they are. Yep. They stole that. Then it went a couple of weeks or more. They stole my chainsaw. That was a real heartbreaker. The best chainsaw I ever had is it's gone. So that's why I'm gonna add on to them doors so they can't crawl under. But uh, yeah, them door entry doors, they can just break that open it's easy. Sure. But I got a burglar alarm system. And right now that ain't working. 
should, I won't tell anybody. I shouldn't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I should. <laughs> That's okay. I know plenty of people that put the signs up that say under 24-hour surveillance, and they don't even have anything. It's just they oh. think it scares people away, I guess. Oh, I, I don't know. I don't help. So then I, uh, I got a big light above that door outside there. I need that on the light, if it helps. I don't know. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Well, is there anything else you want to tell me about yourself before I shut this off? Well, if you think of anything you want to know. Well, tell me about the biggest change that you've seen in your lifetime growing up in this county. The, the, the machinery and bigger farms. The more, a lot of farmers have bought more and more land. <coughs> Which said uh, bigger machinery, it's helped them a lot, but they cost money. But they must be making money because I know they keep on going. But the price has gone up, fertilizer seed is just terrible. And how they make it. But they're getting the government payments if it's a bad year, which we never got. Uh, mm -hmm. It helps them. Yeah, it does yeah. help them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's because it costs some over two hundred dollars an acre to plant. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. What do you think it cost your dad when he was planting? Oh, gee. Just a little bit for seed. We never bought fertilizer back then. You know, it cost it. That was a fertilizer. <laughs> yeah, I suppose, I suppose. And that fertilizer and that spraying, that's kind of a bad thing. You're starting to complain now. Uh, the government is stepping in. They're using too much spray too much fertilizer, you put it in the water. Yeah. One thing I've noticed is I used to walk on our road and the milkweed plants used to have the monarch caterpillar, you know, little yellow and black yeah. striped caterpillars. And you don't see those anymore. No. And they used to be just abundant on the milkweeds and they said that that has to do with the chemicals that the farmers use. Yeah. And oh, it must have been about two weeks ago I took a walk and I saw two caterpillars. And that was the first caterpillars I've seen in like five years. Oh, yeah. So it's, you know, maybe they're making a comeback and they've cut back on the stuff. But so. Yeah, I've noticed that too. It's uh, snakes, I think, only. And she snake for a long time yesterday. A small snake. Yeah. yeah. Maybe something's changing here. Yeah, yeah, maybe. So that sewing machine you got right there, was that your mom's? Yeah. yeah. Do you use it? Uh, well, I used it a little bit, but I broke a spring on it, so I can't use it now. Oh. Where did you break a spring? On, uh... <clears throat> on the, uh, what do you call it, the bobbin. Oh, okay. For the tension of the thread in some way. I have one like that, similar to that, at my oh. house that was my husband's grandma's, and oh. she gave it to me. Best sewing machine I've ever sewed with in my life. Oh, yeah. I love to sew, and I have some of those electric fancy ones, you know? Yeah. Best sewing machine ever. Yeah, yeah. You know? Simple. I bought an electric one. Oh, you did? But I, at first I had an awful time, I think I had too heavy a thread for one thing. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, I couldn't find any bigger needles. I don't know how big they make them, but uh, maybe they don't make them any bigger than what I got. Hmm. <coughs> hmm. Yeah, I, uh, my sister, well, my mother and my sister, oh, they sewed on that, and I could never keep time on that pedal. <laughs> Every once in a while, mine goes off too, you know, and your foot just goes all over the place. It's like, oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, 
Well, I tell you what, this has been phenomenal. You are a good interview. Even though you think you're not, you did a great job. <laughs> I really appreciate it. I will let you be for the rest of the day. I hope to see you again. Well, I hope so. Yeah. I might come over and visit. People don't visit anymore, you no, know. No. <laughs> That's what Doris said, too. She's like, it used to be back in the day that people would just stop by your house and visit. Yeah. We'd have pie and coffee or something, and people don't visit anymore. Yeah. You know? Do you get many people coming out here? No. Well, I might I might knock on your door again someday. Yeah. The neighbor back here, she's an awful good neighbor. Good. Look at the little kids. The boy, it's unbelievable. The kids are so nice. Well behaved. What is her last name? Uh, Shoal. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know that. Does she homeschool her kids? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. He's for, He's got two jobs. With eleven kids, you probably need to have three jobs. <laughs> yeah, oh, the youngest one, the baby. She got the uh, what's that childhood disease? Le leukemia. Oh, really? So she was in the hospital in Minneapolis for. Long time, and the mother had to be there with her. She's still nursing it, and that must be hard on her. She had to be right there for, I think, about two, three weeks. Then sometimes she could come home for a little while. She would go back there then, wow. and she still goes back about once a month. Oh. But took the baby with them and the test of that. Well, I hope the baby's doing okay now. Yeah, she seems to be. It's a little girl. Good. <coughs> well, I have to go have fun at the fair again today. Oh, yeah. So, I, like I say, I hope to come back and visit with you again. Do that. What does your you need to You need to eat all these donuts. You need to oh, fatten oh, up a little bit. <laughs> oh, no, you need to fatten up a little bit. We need to keep your, some meat on your bones. Uh, well, I was going to cook you some coffee. Oh, that's okay. I had coffee this morning. Uh, but you were going to ask me what my husband does? Yeah. He's a truck driver. Oh. He goes over the road. Oh, yeah. And so he's only home on the weekends. So uh, yeah. I have a lot of time to do crazy projects like this. Oh, yeah. So. What does he haul Anything and everything. Okay. A lot of times he'll, um, he does like macaroni, you know, like mac and cheese okay. type stuff, box stuff. Um, other than that, he just, he pretty much delivers everything, you know. He gets a load and he'll go here, there. Sometimes I go with him. You remember the name of the company? His company is named Five Star. Five Star? Oh, my, my neighbor's just sat me here. He used to be drive truck now. He's got, he's got an office job now. Nice. At the same company. Okay. And he hauled furniture all over the United States. Wow. I don't, you know, my husband's been doing this for so long with him being gone. I don't know if I could handle having him home all the time. Uh, it, it would really upset my, uh, uh, my daily routine. Uh, <laughs> I'm so used to just coming and going. And yeah. I have a dog, I have a puppy actually sleeping in my car right now. Oh. And uh, he kind of protects me, so uh, yeah. he's my protector. So, anyway. Uh, it's about that. Uh, He's gone some nights. Five nights a week. Uh, yeah, he leaves. Well, four nights a week. I guess he leaves on Monday morning. He gets back on Friday afternoons. Oh. So. Every week. That way. Pretty much every week. Oh. Geez. Sometimes I go with him. A couple weeks ago, I went with him, and we went down to New Orleans. Uh, That's an icky town. I was uh, so glad to come home. Uh, <laughs> it's just it's. It, it's just such a different lifestyle, oh, you know, and uh, the town was very dirty, and uh, I don't know. I, I like my little town. Uh, you live in Cambridge? I live north of Cambridge in Grandy, oh, up in Grandy. Okay. So, okay. Well, I won't keep you any longer. I sure enjoy